All right, hello, Sagittarians here. I'm going to do Sun, Moon, Rise, okay? Because people say I don't say that. Um, Sagittarians, I'm going to do your messages from the universe here. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do 12 of these, and I'm going to do seven of these um, energy. See where your energy is, because it's full moon. And um, now, yeah, it is. And um, that's dealing with completion of something. And something you're coming to an agreement with yourself. And then this 12 is dealing with action. Something feels funny in here. All right, let's see that. Sagittarius here. Let's see. Yeeks. Something is in here that's not right. Let's see. Yeah. What was that? How oh, was it? All right, Sagittarius here. What do we got for you guys? You guys are yeah, energized again. Be careful with that. Okay, so, you know, oh, I don't like how that came. You say I said that fast. You guys are energized again. I need to relax myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, and look what you just got. I have to read this. And I just said that. It said, no one said this whole life thing was a race. It's okay to slow down. And I was just talking about that. You guys are jumping, 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 jumping. It's almost like you're saying I need to do this for a reason. It's like you're having a reason for things that you do. Let's look at these up. Um, Sanitarians. Okay. I feel like some of you are backing off of people. Too. This could be someone in your family. I don't know if you guys got to some back and forth situation or something. It's like you're backing off from someone or you're seeing them. That came reverse. It's like you're backing off from someone. You're not trying to get too close to them. I don't know if you're visiting family or you're visiting someone, but you're not trying to get too close to someone. So, just be careful with dealing with family too much. I'm not saying they're going to eat you, but just, you know, too much. Because I feel like something's going to come up in a conversation. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, I'm going to get your cards out, and then I'm going to read them for you, okay? Just a second. All right, Sagittarians here. Yeah, it's telling you to slow down a little bit, okay? Because I feel like you guys are doing this, like, I'm not trying to scare you, but I feel like some of you are doing this because you feel like something's going to happen. Like, you need this money, or you need this time, or you need to do this here because you feel like you're about to go into some kind of situation where there is a long-term relationship or some kind of position you're about to do or you're probably about to retire. Something you're about to do that's a long stretch, and you keep rushing like you feel like I have to do this right now because you feel like something is coming to some kind of closure or something. Not bad, but just it's time to do something about it. Okay? And then you have speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. I feel like you guys are going to start talking about something to people. Very important and serious. I feel like I don't know, but I'm getting this feeling like some of you are about to shut down. And I mean shut down like in a relationship. Like, boom, this is with a period on it. Either with a relationship or some kind of situation that you're about to engage in. It's like that's going to be, you're going to put a period on it. I'm not talking about if you're really young or nothing like that. It's like you're going to put a period on something. Either you're about to get with someone or you're about to um, change some kind of habit that you used to do or something you're about to go into. It's like you're saying, you know, that wasn't me. This is me now. This is what I'm going to be. Maybe you took a good look at yourself about something that you were doing and it just didn't sit right with some. Just at the time, it just wasn't right. This is stop caring about what they think, you know. This is your life to love and live. We know that, but still makes you. I feel like you're meant to dive in these situations like a dolphin. 
I'm see. I know you're not a dolphin, but I feel like you're meant to just do. That's how you are. That's what makes you go. You get in the situations. You get back out. You get in another one, and you, that's how you are. That's why. Um, that's why Sagittarians have the what the symbol is the man with the the animal legs, and then the horns. You fight back, and then you take off. And like I said, you get. That's how you are. That's how you are here. It was just not let anyone make you feel like you. they have to critique you, like say something negative about you because how you are. I know you make mistakes and fumble, but that's who you are. Just like you have certain fire signs um, who are mean. It's not that they're mean. That's just who they are. They just like their space. I, yeah, I heard you. I'm going over here. You know what I'm saying? Um, this I don't know if this is reverse, but we'll see what it says. It says, say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good. That's why I said you guys are about to go into something. And it's like you're going to be, this is the period on it now. It's probably not going to happen now, but not, you know, today, but it's going to happen. I don't know if you're getting a relationship or you're getting involved in some TV network or um, you're changing some kind of career or you're moving in some neighborhood or house or something. Something you're about to change and that's it. It's like you're going to stop right there. Okay? I don't know what happened. Open your heart, not just a little, all the way and the, let the love flow in. That's why I'm saying when you guys are going into your transit a lot, you have to keep your heart open for love. Because you don't know that could be a part of your blessings or a part of your transit. And sometimes that's how people get their blockages to. Because they close out in the world. And, I, and you still get it, you know, along the way when you heal and get back up. But still, that's what causes it. People shut out from the world from things. And they don't see what's in front of them going on. They feel like everything is so, no, I don't want to deal with it. No, no. This must be uh, was reversed. Live your life without both. I said without. Live your life with both feet in. Commit fully to being here. Some of you take yourself somewhere in your own world, and people catch it. People catch it. I'm not. I'm not saying don't be yourself, but it's like you're like, oh, that was me? Oh, my God. The world is full of fish. It's full of people. It's full of people here. And I feel like you want, and, and I'm not saying this for all of you, I feel like you want all of it to come and think your way. And it's not, you're not doing it in a selfish way, but that's how you unify with someone. When they're going your way. you That's how you unify with people. I don't know why I have these way over there, like... This is you have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. What they're saying is that you do the material things or you do the critique, uh, the argumentative things when someone don't agree with you. But what they're saying is let that shine. The sensitive shine. The sensitive part come out. The natural sensitive part. It doesn't have to do with where you are, who's around you and all that. It has to do with just you. Sometimes it gets too high strong with you where you feel like you have to act like that. And it makes people do this. Right? And then you start like, what's wrong with you? And it's, you know what I mean? Just show the real you. Alright? It's okay. It's okay to do that. A lot of people sometimes get, they get around people and start acting like them. And they say, it's not me. All right, and feel good about it. This is let your feelings out, all of them, even the ones that you're scared of. 
sometimes you let it out to the world. You let it out in a rap or in a song or or just in your typical talking to some, one of your friends here. But it's probably something else underlined that you didn't tell them. And you have to square that off with yourself. It could have been something that just brought this on. I think whatever you're doing, it's going deeper. It's going, it's more deeper than the reason why you're doing that. And it's like you say, I'm okay, and then you start doing some things and it's become a little reckless a little bit. Just be careful with them. Digging deeper into things instead of talking to someone about it, okay? This is, um, be authentic. Anything else is just exhausting and it's still saying the same thing. You're different here. You're a different breed of a person. You're like, like a growing tree, growing beautiful tree, and that's how you are, but sometimes it sticks people or you get stuck. Because you're not controlling the growth. You still have to control growth because it could become too much to where it starts rotting off. The leaves are falling off, if you know what I mean. Just don't do too much of things here because you have to let other people shine too with you. Okay? And sometimes it gets big and it gets out of control. And you're like, oh my God, did I steal the show? Oh, yeah. We did. This is you could use some self care time right now. I just said that. You guys gotta I feel like you guys need to come back to just regular life because you guys are just out and out and out and out. And I feel like you guys, some of you are trying to get away from something. You don't want to think about something. And you're like, I'm going to do And it's like you're always keeping that smile or that good charm. In all good ways here. Because you need that to get by. You need that to get. Everybody needs that to get by. To keep that charm up. To keep the people around. To keep the right people around. Or conversation or good vibe around you. Okay. This is stop looking outside yourself for the answers. You already know them. I feel you guys need to get to your inner self because you're doing things to the material, to the material or the virtual stuff that's on the computer. You're doing things like that. And you need to balance out your true nature. Get to your nature side, um, Sagittarius. Get to your nature side. Okay? Because I feel like you're afraid to be natural. You you feel like if you're just just typical like typical natural like everyone else, it's like you're gonna not feel right. Because I feel like as far as health, you need that time. You need that time to relax here. It's too much going on. It's too much hopping going on. This is stay present. That's where life happens. Like I just said, stay. Not low key, still be around your friends, but make it like you're just relaxing now. Okay? And sometimes, I don't know, I, did, I was supposed to put something up this morning. Just take a little break from social media sometimes. Okay? Because it seems like you're doing too much when you're getting all whacked out. Yo yo acting. Some of you. Not all. They're getting all whacked. Oh! or something's going on here. Alright, let's see here. These are your energies. I'm just going to do lucky number seven, okay? Yeah, 
some of you are uh, you're not feeling too I feel like you want to counsel someone talk to someone about something and you feel like you can't let me get this you feel like you can't do it you just don't want to do it it's like uh, you feel like it'll be a waste of time okay uh you got it um, let's see Sagittarius here. You got appreciation here. I feel like you like what you accomplish. You feel good about it, but something is too overwhelming. I feel like it's like you're like almost like that's why I said you guys are doing a little bit too much. You feel like loopy a little bit. Like something's like you know, please deal with yourself just for a moment here. Because I feel like some of you are doing too much of something. This is your chakra here. This is your, um, oh, your power pusher. Your power pusher. Your, um, your solar plexus here. This is you here. Something you want to finish. You want to finish something and then it's going to be like, I'm done. It's something you want to finish. I feel like it's almost like you're telling someone that... It's like you're telling someone, I... How can I put this? It's always... It's, it's like you're telling someone, I did this, I accomplished this, this is what I did, I feel good about it. It's like you want to do that for someone that's either not in your life anymore, or who you used to know, or you're trying to let, you know, it's like you're trying to let them know that you're doing fine, I'm doing good, it's like you want to tell them. This is contract here. Yeah, I, I just said that. It's like you guys are about to commit to something. Either a marriage. It could be a family. An extended family. It could be a career. Some kind of position. It's like a period on. It's like that's what gonna, you're going to do for the rest. Some of you. Because it's like you're liking this. When you catch a vibe that you like. Sagittarians, you you want to stay with it. You want to stay with it. I kid you not, you guys probably go to use the same old friends. <laughs> you probably still talk to me, but you go to the same old friend. You do, you, you know, it's... That's just you. But something you're going to get involved with, you're going to feel that vibe and you like it and you want to keep it. It's like you want to keep it. You want you want it to stay like that. Yep, I said yin yang. It's some kind of it's some kind of cycle that takes you rotate you back to whatever makes you like shine. You go right back to it, but this time you're going to stay in it. It's something long term. Because you feel like, I deserve it, I earned it, I feel good right now. It's like you're saying that to yourself. Probably not now, but it's going to happen. Okay. It's not for all of you. This is broken hearts. This could be the reason why. Because you're tired of this. And you're trying to mend your heart, and I feel like you guys are. This is not for all of you, but you guys are. This is going to happen. Because you pick so much energy up with your energy, you're going to feel this one. Like, this is the one, or this is the thing I'm supposed to do. You're going to feel that. And that's how you're going to mend your heart back. And this is financial constraints here. This could be some of you are budgeting or about to start doing it. I don't know if you're seeing things spending that's missing or you're spending too much of something. And it's like you're saying, no, I, no, 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 we need to stop this. This something's not right. You know, 
you're probably not looking at what you're doing. Pay attention to your finances here so you won't get in a rut somewhere. I don't know if you're spending too much or you're giving too much and it's it's really not going where it's supposed to go. Okay? Or whatever, whatever. This is victory here. I feel like someone you're meet, someone you're gonna meet or someone you're with, or someone that's that's gonna be by your side. And they're going to help you through whatever situations that you're going through that are deep, that no one else is know about or something. Someone's going to help you. It's like they were God's in or something. Whoever this person is, they're going to help you with something. I don't know if you need a good talk, a good hug, or a good relationship, or whatever the case may be here. Okay, that's why I said you're going to get in a situation where you're going to stick with it. Okay, it's going to be soon. It doesn't have to be next month. It's, gonna, it's coming up, okay? All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. But um, yours is more of dealing with something you're going to settle with. You're going to not settle like, oh, just settle with anything. But it's going to be something you feel good about. And it's the reason because of your vibe, how you reach out to things. And then the universe comes back at you with something you're going to feel it. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to balance you. Okay? I know a lot of you don't understand my rules. <laughs> Alright? You guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself here, okay? Take what you got coming to you here. Because you always reach above the stars, don't you? And it's going to come to you now. And you're going to feel it. Alright? Bye now. Thanks for watching.